Forensic Extractor for YouTube is an open-source command line utility, specifically crafted for forensic investigators and open-source intelligence analysts. This handy utility is available free of charge to the community and can be used for both personal and commercial purposes. So, what does Forensic Extractor for YouTube do, and why should I use it? Although less common, there are situations where a forensic investigator will need to investigate video content that has been uploaded to YouTube. Especially, if the case may end up in court, it is imperative that the content be acquired in a forensically sound manner, and stored securely. It should also be noted that performing an investigation directly on the platform is an unreliable investigative method for several reasons. For instance, the content creator may delete or alter the content during your investigation. While there are several software options for downloading videos from YouTube, they do not process the type of information that a forensic professional needs. Forensic Extractor for YouTube extracts the individual video and audio streams that are stored on YouTube's servers. It calculates not one, not two, but five different cryptographic hash functions for creating file signatures, including SHA-512, SHA-256, and Blake-3. The streams are then combined into a separate multiplex file to aid the investigative process. A directory structure is created to organize the files based on the YouTube channel name and potential geolocation information. The directories are created first. After this the video and audio streams are written to disk in order to preserve the modified, accessed, created, and MFT record change timestamps in their original, unaltered form. The utility presents all data in a clear, verbose and visually appealing format for easy reading. In addition to these, Forensic Extractor for YouTube extracts valuable metadata from YouTube such as view count, comment count and like count, content duration, and geographic location when it is available. Forensic Extractor for YouTube logs all information for later review and writes a CSV file to disk, containing all of the metadata, file names and file signatures. Additionally, the utility records timestamp information that marks the completion of the video and audio stream extraction process, as well as the initiation and completion of the multiplex procedure. A wide range of error conditions are handled gracefully, and the utility verifies that all URLs conform to the specified pattern, and if required, sanitizes them. To get your free copy of Forensic Extractor for YouTube, please head over to thewatchman.pro and select Utilities from the header. Scroll down and click on the download icon. In order to verify the integrity of the downloaded archive, the respective file signatures have been provided. Additionally, you may want to submit the archive to VirusTotal.com, where it will be scanned by well over 50 anti-malware engines. You can calculate each of the file signatures on Windows using PowerShell. Navigate to the Downloads folder and list the directory entries. We want to store the calculated file signature inside a variable. We will call it $SHA-512-A. This variable is set up so that we can compare it to the file signature provided on the website. To calculate the file signature we use the command get-file-hash-algorithm. After this you name the desired function. Then you enter the file name of the archive and wrap the entire command in parenthesis dot hash and execute the command. To verify that the command executed successfully you can print the value stored in the variable using write dash host followed by the variable name. Now copy the file signature from the website. Create a new variable called SHA 512 underscore B. Then paste the value inside quotation marks. Finally, compare the two variables by typing this command. If the result is true, then the values are the same and you can proceed with the installation. If you want to run this check also for the other file signatures, feel free to do so. Next, extract the contents of the archive and navigate into the folder. The end user license agreement specifies the terms and conditions for using the utility. The README file contains the instructions for installing the utility on the Windows operating system, as well as Debian and Red Hat based Linux distributions. The first order of operations is to download Python 3.10 or later from the Microsoft Store. Search for it and click on the Get button to download it. 
Next, you will need to download the FFmpeg audio utility. Copy the uniform resource locator and paste it into the browser. Download the latest full release. After it has successfully completed, scan the archive on virustotal.com to verify that it is safe to run. Extract the contents and rename the folder to FFmpeg with lowercase letters as instructed in the README file. You will need to copy the folder to the program files directory. The user account control may require you to provide an administrative token. Now for the final phase, open up the terminal and navigate down the directory structure. cd forensic extractor youtube backslash windows. When you list the directory entries, you will find a setup.ps1 PowerShell script. It will automatically set up a virtual Python environment for you and download the required dependencies. Double check that you have performed all of the steps outlined in the instructions. If you have, press Y and hit enter. It will take a few minutes for the script to complete the installation. As you can see, Forensic Extractor for YouTube requires quite a number of Python libraries and modules to be installed. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you have found this video useful thus far. It is greatly appreciated. Now that the installation has been successfully performed, verify that you are in the virtual Python environment. You can confirm this by checking whether the PowerShell prompt is preceded by double underscore watchman double underscore. If this is not the case, you can launch the environment by typing dot backslash double underscore watchman double underscore backslash scripts backslash activate. Now that the environment is active, execute the Python script. The script requires either a comma separate values CSV file or a text file containing the uniform resource locators of the YouTube videos that you intend to download. You can create a file such as this. Enter the complete directory path for the text file. Forensic Extractor for YouTube will immediately begin the extraction process and will keep you informed about each step. The first thing that takes place is that a comma separated values file is created where all of the forensically relevant information is stored. If this file already exists, new data is appended to it. After this the extraction process is initiated and video metadata is retrieved from YouTube. Next, a directory structure is created based on the channel name and potential geographical location data. The video stream is then extracted with the highest available resolution, and five different file signature values are calculated for it. The same is then done for the audio stream. Lastly, the video and audio streams are combined into a single new file, and a SHA-512 file signature is calculated for this multiplex file. This process is repeated for each video that is extracted. When the extraction process has been successfully completed, you will find the folders containing the extracted materials in the same folder as Forensic Extractor for you too. When dealing with files in forensic investigations, timestamps are of a prime importance. For this reason you should always have the created, modified and last access timestamps on display in Explorer. If this information is not visible, you can select them by right-clicking here and selecting more. Additionally, you will find two important text files. Firstly, the extraction underscore log file that contains forensically relevant information. And secondly, the process file which serves as a log file and contains all of the data that was displayed on screen during the extraction process. As you can see, the extraction underscore log file contains a wealth of metadata that will be useful during a forensic investigation video, an audio stream file name and path, URL, title, view, like and comment counts, as well as location name, and YouTube channel, other forensically relevant information such as extraction time, Blake 3, SHA-512, SHA-256, SHA-1 and MD5 hashes for the video and audio streams. Lastly, the relevant data for the multiplex file is also included. Now it is your turn to try out this utility. Head over to thewatchman.pro and download it. 
feel free to use it for personal or commercial purposes. However, please remember that this utility must not be used for any illegal or illicit purposes. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button, turn on all notifications and give the video a like. Feel free also to leave feedback in the comments section.